but I'm still out here boasting. I'm focused, I block out commotion. Uh, all y'all salty like you drunk the ocean. To Emmys, your only devotion. Uh, watching this shit, they your favorite and like it to know more about y'all emotions. Uh, use it to the kiss you when you do not notice your ego. I cause an explosion. No, this is you nothing but useless. I shine like it's nothing. You know that I do this. They used to go say I'd be nothing. It not recording today after not recording for like three months and trying to get my stuff together. I thought of a quick video idea that we all could enjoy real fast. So, I'll be rating anime, but as a neat twist, I'll be going by chip bag that I have in a tier list maker on my phone. Now, some of these are going to offend people just because of what chips I picked, what chips I have, but just know if I were to do an official tier list, it'd probably be better than this. So, let's just start off. Go to the other app right here. Ignore what I already have here. I... I've tried to do this video like twice now, but it's fun, so I'll go with it. Starting off with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, not Super, not GT, Dragon Ball Start, Kid Goku, all of that was fun. It was fun kid stuff. Then you got to like the middle of it, and he was actually killing armies and stuff. I don't know if I could say that. I don't think people would care. And then we all know what happened in Z. We all know Frieza selling boo. Dragon Ball is so... People who haven't watched Dragon Ball know who Goku is. And people who know at least a tiny bit about Dragon Ball know how the whole story goes. Probably not super. So, for that worldwide recognition, and the fact that it's most people's gateway anime, people's entry in the anime, everybody knows Goku. Uh, Dragon Ball is a plain, lays shit. It's always hitting sometimes it doesn't hit as hard but at the end of the day you know it's reliable and you know you like it it is what it is now moving on from that not my second anime actually pretty recently i've had to start watching this one piece one piece is a great show not only because of their character dynamics which is what really sells people because of the straw hat pirates but, also because of just the plot. It's so simple. Like Dragon Ball, it's simple, but it can get so complicated. Not to where it'll make your head hurt, but there's so much to explore, and the world of One Piece is so vast, that it's never really a dull moment. But, sometimes, I know I just said there was never really a dull moment. I don't know why I'm about to contradict myself. One Piece can get boring. I don't know if it's because of how Toei does it, and they animate it, but now... One Piece barely has any episode of time without it being the intro. And, like, even old One Piece, it's an old anime, so the animation isn't what I'm watching it for, it's the story. And sometimes it do get kind of boring when they just sitting there staring at nothing for, like, 10 to 20 seconds, then yelling about it. So, because of One Piece, it hits, and sometimes it doesn't hit as hard and it's bad. It, it never really is the bad territory, though. It's just mediocre sometimes. One Piece is a solid A tier. Sour cream chip. I, I like those. Sometimes, though, it just it's not right. It's not good at all. Naruto. I don't... Is Naruto as recognizable as Dragon Ball? Yeah, he's in Fortnite now. Whatever. Naruto. Solid show. I wouldn't say it's a gateway. Because Naruto does kind of get complicated with all the new logic. But... Naruto is a great show for people to watch as their second. It's the Naruto run exists. It's literally named after the character from the manga. I shouldn't have to say much after that. It was it's a great show. Shippuden and the original. And the deaths in that show are really important and really matter because not only are they permanent, <clears throat> but they they change the characters' ideologies and their views, which is great for people to watch. So, I'd probably rank Naruto out of what I got. Naruto is like, it's a spicy chip. Naruto. Nah, it's not a spicy chip. It's a sweet. It's a sweet chip. Naruto is a chip. It's a barbecue chip. Bleach? I have Bleach on there, right? I did have Bleach on there. I'm not even going to order. Whatever. I've seen a little bit of Bleach. I'm not even going to try to go into it. But I'm up to like episode nine. It's fun to watch Ichigo not know what he's doing only a little bit. 
And some of their powers are just weird, bro. Like the monsters they show, the hollows or whatever, they look like some I draw as a kid. Turn demonic. Like, I don't even know where they come from. So, the only reason I'd like Bleach is because of Ichigo and Rukia's relationship. And because there's a black dude named Chad in the show. All the way back in 19 whatever, you had a black dude named Chad? Yeah, of course. Come on now. Come on now. Bleach. Bleach is B tier for me right now. But it is Cool Ranch Doritos. It makes sense. Come on now. Now, with the big three out of the way, I can get to some of the other ones. I'll go to a new gen. I'll go to AOT. AOT. Attack on Titan. I don't understand how a show could go from, hey, let's kill monsters to a political warfare and giant devils. That, it just comes out of nowhere. And the show, it could be even sadder than Naruto sometimes because people ain't really got powers other than turning into some of the monsters, right? So, imagine an average human swinging the rail like Spider-Man with limited gas trying to find giants that could one-tap you. That's horrifying. And for that alone, the show deserves a high tier. But its storytelling and foreshadowing is amazing, too. I'm not going to spoil it. I guess I shouldn't spoil it. But from season one to season four, the main character... I wouldn't even, he's not even on demon time. That man's on planning time. He knew exactly what he was going to do from birth. And that, I'll give it, I'll give AOC a spicy chip. It definitely deserves being a spicy chip. So, AOC is some flame Hot Doritos. A tier? Yeah, I can see it being an A tier. It is kind of sad. The ending was pretty trash, though. Now... Time to move on to Seven Deadly Sins. Ignoring the animation. I know it's probably not fair to do that when I talk about animation and other shows. Ignoring the animation. Seven Deadly Sins is a great show. It's it's really unique. It's not like Black Clover. No offense. It's extremely unique. Now, the magic aspect. It, no, not at all. But the story and how they work it around. Yeah, Definitely. And one of the plot twists I didn't even see coming, and I usually see a lot of them coming because of how many shows I watch. Yeah, no. For a Netflix original, Seven Deadly Sons gets a lot of respect for me. Even though after season three, the animation did tank. But that's okay. I'll still love the show. Just not as much. Now, if they give it Demon Slayer animation, it'd be an S tier right now. But because of the whole situation they got going on, not just because of the animation, because of the ending. I don't, I don't like I don't like Meliodas and Elizabeth's kid. Seven Deadly Sins could get what? I'll give them they they some crunchy Cheetos. Yep, <laughs> that's how we doing it. Demon Slayer. I gotta go for Demon Slayer. Their animation is godly. Let's move on from that. Their story, their story is really good. Now I wish before, you know, we saw the demons dead. They'd actually show the backstory until either after they die or during their death. Like, after they finna get their heads cut off. But, the characters and how in-depth he goes with them. I guess the power system is unique, even though it gets confusing at times. So, what I'll go for, I'll give Demon Slayer. There, it's kind of bare bones. The plot's kind of bare bones. When you get into it, it's not. But the whole goal of the main character is just to turn his sister back. I know some other show had that. I can't get it on my head right now. But, you know what? There you go. No, not A tier. B tier. Hunter, Hunter. I, I should already put this up here. I, I could already put that up there. Bro, that show looks so lighthearted at first. And then gets so dark. Near the end of the anime. Like, at first, I thought, oh, it's just gonna be OG Dragon Ball. Haha, <laughs> funny. No, no. People get their arms blown off. They do it for almost no reason. So. Gone. Let me actually talk about characters on the show. Gone. Gone literally acts like such a basic pro tag. It hurts at first. But the more you go forward, the more you realize that these characters are only relatable. Because they act like some people that you know in real life. And as the story progresses, it gets more into magic territory. But it's still based in reality. 
So if you think your character's in trouble, they're probably in trouble. And most of the times, if you even feel that danger, yeah, they're probably gonna die. In, like, one of the later arcs, bug people come into the equation. And most of the people that you see on the human side, which will be super strong, clapped immediately. One of them don't even fight anybody and they lose hair. So, Hunter Hunter is definitely a spicy show. Flame and Hot Cheetos. Hunter Hunter is tucky. S tier. I don't know. Where, where did my chip at go? Hunter Hunter is A tier. I said A tier. Yep, stay right there. The video is already at like 12 minutes. So, I'll call it a day. Thanks for watching and being patient with me, everybody. I get it. I had consistency and then I stopped uploading. I haven't consistently up uploaded since like seven months ago, which is crazy. But that's just what school kind of does. It gets in my way, but I'll try to upload more consistently. I'll have time now because I have a break next week. So I'll see you guys. Have a great rest of your day or night. And hopefully we can see more of this stuff in the future.